Hello, I'm Catherine Bryan, and today we're going to be talking about flute finger technique. So what is the goal with fingers? We want to be able to play as fast and as fluently as possible when we need to. Um, we want to stay as relaxed as possible so that um, playing the flute doesn't become um, tiring in any way. Um, and I think we also um, want to think about being as quiet as possible with our fingers so we're not kind of, you know, slapping or banging the keys. So the most important thing is that we analyse what the fingers are doing. So when you're taking an exercise um, to practice your finger technique, don't do anything too complicated to start with. Keep something very simple that you don't need music for. I think when we have music there and we're reading the notes, it takes our brain away from focusing on the fingers, which is what we need to be doing. It's all about awareness. Have the idea almost that your eyes are up here looking down on your finger so they can really see what's going on. So let's take this very simple exercise. Something really, really simple, just four notes up and down. See if you can hear your fingers. Feel what the fingers are doing. Are they lifting up high? Are they slapping the keys down are they do you feel the keys even when you're not pressing the key that's very important we want to have this real closeness also don't be um afraid to think about your other fingers when you're using these ones are these fingers up here because we don't want that we want them also close to the keys so that they're ready to go at any moment I like to also make sure I'm thinking about the sound when I'm doing this exercise. So I try not to play too loud. I think if we play really a, a big forceful sound, it encourages more tension um, in the fingers, but also in our whole body. And we want to do this exercise with as much um, awareness of being relaxed, right from our toes up to the, the top of our head as possible. In terms of the sound, I think also we want to stay open and relaxed in the, the throat. So try and create just a nice round, um, warm sound when you're doing these exercises. You can, of course, take them up an octave, um, two octaves, as, as high as you can really, but don't feel that this is a race and we need to play everything really quickly. I think it's better to start these exercises really, really slowly so that you can go through that process of analysis.